Hello, hello. I'm sorry I can't be with you this evening, but I thought I'd make this brief recording to give you an outline of the services provided to dual enrollment services students by the Shelton State Libraries. My name is Kelly Griffiths and I'm one of the librarians here at Shelton State. My pronouns are she and her. And I hope you've found this evening informative. I want to remind you that pretty much everyone you're hearing from tonight is here to support your academic career. So don't be afraid to ask questions and never be afraid to ask for help because that's really why we're here. So, the library. On the Martin campus, we're on the second floor of the atrium. On the Fred campus, we're currently closed, but if you take classes on the Fred campus and you find that you need something, speak with your instructor or give me a call and I'll make sure that we get the resources that you need to you. On the Martin campus, we're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 in the morning until 8 at night, and on Friday from 8 until noon. And we're closed whenever the college is closed. So if the college is closed on a Sunday, we are closed. We do have some guidelines that we ask you to follow in addition to the student code of conduct that you follow campus-wide. The first is no food or drink. Please don't bring food or drink into the libraries if you insist on bringing it in. Hide it away from us. Don't snack in the back of the library. Don't take it out just to have a sip. Put it in your bag and leave it there. Don't be disruptive. Remember that the library is a public space where many individuals are attempting to complete their academic coursework and they all deserve that space as a useful space for them. So no yelling woo, no standing up on tables, uh, no generally being disruptive and don't remove materials without checking them out. This is so that we know what, libra what library materials are being used and also so that we know where items are in case someone needs them. It's just common sense and common courtesy. Some popular services we offer, we of course have reference and computer services. We have study rooms that you can use. We will circulate laptops, modems, and calculators to you for an entire semester on a first come first serve basis. We have medical models that you can use if you're taking nursing classes to brush up on anatomy. Those have to stay in the library, but they do circulate within the library. And we have a copier and printer that you have access to. In order to check something out of the library, whether it's a medical model or a laptop or a book, you will need to have a photo ID, a driver's license, a passport, a school ID, as long as it is an official photo ID, and you'll have to know your A number. Your A number is available in My Shelton. If you have trouble finding it, let someone know and we can help you find your A number. We do have a lot of online resources. Online resources can be very intimidating, but uh, most of you have used it like the Alabama Virtual Library with your high schools. So we do have these also on our library webpage. We have access to all sorts of online tutorials showing you how to use all of our Shelton databases as well as the most popular AVL databases. And many instructors will put library tutorials in their Canvas course shells so that you have access to them. The Alabama Virtual Library uses geolocation. It might require a login if you have trouble utilizing the AVL. By all means, hit me up and I will get you a login. And then the Shelton specific databases, just use your regular My Shelton login. If you have any trouble at all, like I said, contact me. Here's my email and phone number and also the phone number for the front desk if I'm not your flavor. Uh, anyone is capable of helping you. If you email us, please remember to do so from your My Shelton account because we, that's how we confirm our, your, identi your identity and make sure that we're talking to who we are actually talking to. Thank you for listening. I hope the rest of your evening is informative. And like I said, don't hesitate to hit me up if you need anything. Have a good night.